Hi, the purpose of this video is to allow us to set up an app on our smartphone that will allow us to control and configure um, the, um, and view uh, the IP camera that's in our kit, okay? So this is a pretty straightforward process. There's two basic parts to it. There's the physical setup. So what we've done is we physically have a LAN cable running from the router directly over to the uh, IP camera. So it's on the, on the same network and we, we come along and in our settings, we physically uh, log into the, or we log into the settings menu on our smartphone to make sure it's on the same router. So everything is set up initially on the same, the same local area network. And the significance of that will become apparent as the video goes on. So what we do next is we go into um, and download the app uh, directly from the iStore here, uh, so the app store. So what I do here is FSI, so F-S-E-Y-E -E is the name of the app. And when we have it, we download it. So in my case, I'm going to actually just click on um, download and our open simply because um, I have it downloaded already. And we could set up an account and log in this way. But what we want to do actually is log in locally because this will work well for us simply because uh, we're able to go directly in onto um, the, the device that way. And we want to add a device and we want to search the device. So it's going to look at the local area network and see if there are any devices there and it finds the camera. So we'll just click on that camera and it says, okay, we can see the unique uh, code that's been allocated, it, all the rest of it, and we want to go at that point. And I'll say, okay. So it says successfully added. So it sees it here as R300, okay? So we're going to click in here and in a few moments, we're going to start looking at a big light bulb. And to prove it is, in a moment, I'm going to put my hand over it and I'm going to say hello, okay? So that's the camera here that we have directly onto it here. So what we've done at this point here is we've actually set it up and we'll be able to access this not just through uh, the local camera or the local network, but we can also do it remotely because they'll be using P2P. So remember, there's a unique ID number, um, um, so serial number allocated to this particular camera and it'll be recognized up in the cloud. And so if we look to the cloud and say, this is the serial number we're trying to look for, it'll say, oh, I know exactly exactly where that is, I know which router it's on. And how you prove that to yourself is the following. You go into the settings on your phone and you turn off the local Wi-Fi network. So you prevent yourself being able to go in locally on it. Sorry, I just need to turn that off. And I go back out and I go back into my initial app here. And again, I come along. So it's going to be reloading here because what it's trying to say is, oh, I was on the local network, but now I have to find a different way to access this. And the different way is through the cloud. And again, I'll just put my hand the other direction here and rotate it a little bit. So you can see here, it's still functioning now, even though the local Wi-Fi network is on. That last step is very important to always check this because it'll tell you whether you're on local or global um, IPs. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to download um, the smart app um, onto your phone so you can access and view your, um, your uh, IP camera remotely.